Hi, welcome to Bad Movie Reviews. Then on to the next one. Luro looks like a potential return to the world of Il Divo and Paolo Sorrentino's early glory days, but the fact is the film has all the flaws of its subject. Just like Berlusconi, it is misogynistic, tacky, morally and politically vacuous. Again, like Silvio, it thinks it's funny, but it most assuredly isn't. The disaster can partly be seen in its release history with Cannes allegedly turning it down, and Italians getting the film divided into two separate parts, each clocking in at over 100 minutes, and the UK getting a cobbled together 150 minute version. Sorrentino sees only the panache of the visual. There's no morality here in the midst of the corruption. There's nothing but a nihilistic disdain. Drugs are an infomercial. Sex, even rape, is transactional. All politics is dishonest and venal. Innocence is a girl in a silver bikini. The film's eventual transition into chastising the hedonism in which it has been revealing is just as awkward as the slack narrative. As a vision of the fall of a contemporary Roman Empire, Loro's bombast becomes numbing far too early. There is no real narrative structure, and very little to the story beyond the grotesque treatment of women, who are only ever referred to as sluts, or whores, or bimbos. Make the point you'd think, and move on, but it's that, over and over again. There are a few spectacular set pieces like ecstasy pills falling from the sky or Berlusconi engulfed by butterflies, but only a couple of scenes that offer any emotional heft. With a formidable budget, surreal comedy, fourth wall breaking and gaudy special effects, Sorrentino's latest might prove technically impressive, but it's not enough. And, once more, much of the important detail is also annoyingly excluded, for example, who are all these awful people with Fellini-esque faces? What the heck is really happening in the first half hour or so? And why should we care? Like Ferito. <laughs> 